All right, good morning, children and lions. Today, our objective, our goal, is we can use square tiles to compose a rectangle and relate to a ray. All right, read it with me on three. One, two, three. We can use square tiles to compose a rectangle and relate it to the array. Now we see two words on this side, array and repeated addition. Remember, an array is a group of objects that are placed in equal groups with rows and columns. Now the repeated addition is the word we use when we wanna find the total amount of tiles or objects in the array. That's why you see the addition because we're trying to find the total amount of all objects in an array. All right, let's do our first practice. We're gonna have 10 tiles and you'll see them right here. They're red and green. Now we're gonna place these 10 tiles into two equal groups. So let's organize our tiles into two equal rows like we've done before. But this time we're not gonna leave spaces between the rows. So here we go, we're gonna put them in two equal rows. So I know rows is horizontal, side to side. So one, two, three, four, Five. We're going to make our other horizontal row. One, two, three, four, five. Now, are they equal? Yes, because there's five. One, two, three, four, five in each one. Now, remember I said I wanted to do one thing, though when I was making this. I wanted to make sure not to leave spaces or gaps. So let's fix our row. There you go, that's much better. We have no spaces or gaps. So how many rows did we make? That's right, we made two rows. Now, how many tiles are in each row? We have two and we counted them. So there's two tiles, I mean five tiles in each row, right? Five tiles in each each. Now we want to find the total amount of all of these tiles together in both the rows which make our array. Remember this whole thing is called an array. What can we do to find the total? Yeah, we can write in a repeated addition sentence. So remember we had five plus five gives us a total of 10. So we had two rows of five equals 10 tiles. Now, Trojans and Lions, you're gonna get a chance to construct, that means make your arrays with no gaps. Remember, we want them all touching and they're gonna be rectangles in your practice problem. You have two practice problems, then ex exit ticket. All right, let's get started.